Now, one of America's best-loved entertainers is being honoured in his hometown here in the West. Bob Hope lived for a short time in Western Supermare before moving to Bristol. He made his name in theatre after the family emigrated to America. Here's Liz Beacon. Well, here it is, the blue plaque in Western Supermare that shows the entertainer Bob Hope lived here as a toddler. And a lot of work has gone into finding out a little bit more about his involvement with this town. And John Crockford Hawley, you are a local historian. Just tell us a little bit about this project. Well, uh, the Town Council and the Civic Society combined to put up blue plaques for memorable, notable people in, in Westland. Bob Hope, though he was only here as a toddler, he was here in, in, in this house. And his family came from here. I mean, he had... 15 uh, uncles and aunts, all of whom were either uh, born in Western or baptised in Western. He was the fifth of the family, his sixth sibling, the younger brother, Sydney. He was born here. Um, so it's very much a Western Supermare family. OK, they were in Bristol as well, but you know, this is Western Supermare. <laughs> you are claiming them. <laughs> and his grandfather was a stonemason. That has a real connection with this town. Yes, I mean, it's a family tradition. So his grandfather was actually part of the team building our seafront wall. That was built in um, 1885. Uh, it was an amazing scheme. I mean, right the way from Burnbeck to uh, almost to Uphill, all, all completed in three years. And there was grandfather working on it. Then father goes off to America and helps build the, the, the Statue of Liberty. So, Western Supermare, Statue of Liberty, Bob Hope, here. <laughs> and that's where it all began, pretty yes. much. The Statue of Liberty took Bob Hope onto his American adventure. We'll be bringing you lots more tonight at 6.30.